Good morning. My name is Rick Alamonte, and I'm sitting here in my office in Valhalla, New York, to tell you a little bit about Alamonte Mediation Services and how we might be able to help you resolve a dispute. Let's get started. It is so important that a mediator prepare properly for the mediation. I think there's a consensus out there or a thought out there that a mediator is just this natural born peacemaker that can just descend upon the scene and make everything work. And I guess a certain part of being successful as a mediator requires some innate qualities, but preparation is irreplaceable. And we as mediators need to start preparing early so that we can effectively mediate these disputes. The parties are trusting us to resolve this dispute and they deserve our very best. I work with the parties long before we ever sit down at the mediation. I get their submissions, I review the pleadings, and then I start talking to the lawyers on the phone and find out other things that I need to know to make that mediation successful. Sometimes we even settle the case on the phone and we cancel the mediation itself because we're able to make so much progress. But these things include their views of the case, the strengths and weaknesses of the case, things that they might not want to discuss with someone else in the room. And also, sometimes we find out there's just some miscommunication among the parties that we can resolve before the mediation and really advance the ball towards maybe settling it. And sometimes it's something as basic as a miscommunication as to how much money is already on the table, confirming it, getting things going. And that level of preparation, number one, it sends a great signal. And when we finally do sit down at the mediation, there's a rapport and a trust already established. I think proper preparation for mediation is absolutely necessary and lack of proper preparation is inexcusable. And as a party attending mediations, I've been disappointed in the past. And as someone who participates in mediations as an advocate as well as as a mediator, I try to treat the people participating in the mediation the same way I would like to be treated if I were in their chair.